All right, folks, here we are with the last of our walking animation tutorials. Our goal today is to have our hero come to a stop and switch to his standing pose. So he's not frozen in this walk. Right? So we don't want him to be frozen like this, like he's walking. So here we go. We're going to use a variable for this. We need to create a new variable called facing. And essentially what we're going to do is tell Scratch that when the user presses one of the arrow keys to note which way the hero is facing. Now what we're going to do to choose the directions of which way the hero is facing is we're going to tie those directions into the costumes that happen to be facing that way as well. So if you've ever noticed, there's a number next to each costume. So the back stance facing back is costume one. The right stance facing right is costume two. Front stance is costume three. And uh, left stance is costume four. One, two, three, four. So in our code, we can say if we press up, set the facing variable to which costume is this? Number one. Now it's not a costume yet, it's just getting a value of one. But you'll see how this works later. If we're pressing the down arrow, that is going to be a value of three. So set our facing variable to three and our left arrow is going to be a value of four, that's the fourth costume, and our right arrow is two. Now you can change this order however you'd like. I just happen to place them in this order so that facing up is one, right is two, three, and four, but you can swap them by dragging them like that. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put them back so that my numbers are in the correct place. Good. All right, so right now, uh, let me turn this variable on so you can see it facing. Right now you can see that if I press to the right, I'm facing uh, a value of number two, costume number two, basically. I'm going to tie that in later. Down three, left is four, up is one. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And our costumes happen to be numbered one, two, three, four. So all we need to do now is tell Scratch that if we're not pressing the arrow keys, that means we're at rest. Then go ahead and change our costume to whatever the value of this variable is. So when the green flag is clicked, if we are not pressing, I should still have that not press. Oh, I don't. That's okay. I'll do it very quickly for you. Forever if not pressing. And yeah, we can get rid of this now forever if not pressing. This is going to be the not operator and it's going to be any of the arrow keys. So we're going to need a few of these ors. One, two, three, four spots for our four arrow keys. Up arrow, like that. There we go. Up, down, right, left. Okay, this is a long line of code and we don't like to go any longer than this. So if you're getting longer code than this, single lines of code, you probably want to use a different method to accomplish your goal. So if we're not pressing any of the arrow keys, then we should be at rest. So then what we're going to do is change our costume, switch costume, to our variable value, whatever facing is currently at. Boom. All right, so let's see if this works. Green flag. Aha, we already 
it's standing at attention. So I'm going to walk, value of 2, then I'm now on the second costume, which is the right stance. If I move to the left, I'll get a value of 4, which is the left stance costume. Walk, 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 and let go, and it switches to the stance. Same thing for down and up. Pretty neat, right guys? So that's a great way to create a at rest hero sprite. Hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more tutorials.